everybody, it's Paige. So today's video I'm so excited for. I'm doing a review of the entire Jeffree Star Star Family collection. I purchased the entire thing with my own money and I have it all sitting right in front of me. I haven't played around with any of these products yet. So this is a first impressions, um, a review, I guess. And also I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing lip swatches on all six liquid lipsticks. I'm going to be applying the highlighter and testing that out. And then I'm also gonna, going to be smelling slash tasting the two velour lip scrubs. Um, so that way I can give you a little first impressions review of every single product in the collection. So yeah, let's just get right into it. I did want to say that I am filming on my new camera, so I'm just winging it. I have no viewfinder, so I have no idea where I am at in the frame. I'm doing my best to assume that I'm centered and in focus, but if the lighting's a little funky or if I get out of focus randomly, like, please just like stick with me. I just need to get a monitor so that I can see myself. Um, but yeah, so this might be a little bit of a bump in the road. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully the quality is even better because this camera is actually like nicer than my previous one, I think. <laughs> but anyways, let's just get into it right now. <laughs> so uh, this collection comes with six liquid lipsticks, two velour lip scrubs, and a skin frost, which is a highlighter. Um, I did, like I said, purchase all of these. So... The way Jeffrey broke it down was Nathan came out or you know came up with three of the liquid lipsticks. Jeffrey came up with three of the liquid lipsticks, and then Nathan came up with one scent for the velour liquid lip scrub. Pepper. Sorry, I'm watching my brother's dog right now, and she is like, like talking to herself in the mirror. What? What do you want? I think she. I think she wants to be oh on camera. This is Pepper. She um <laughs> she is a lab mix. She is black, I think. She's got a little bit of a brown tint um on the top of her, but she is just the cutest little thing. She's got one blue eye, one blackish brown eye, and she is just so cute and little, and I want her to stay this little forever, but She's not, she's already bigger than she was when we first got her, but um, she's a little troublemaker. She is a troublemaker. But anyways, back to the video. Um, so essentially, Nathan came up with half of the collection, Jeffrey came up with the other half, and then the highlighter, I guess, was just a combination of the two. So let's just get started. Um, I have no lipstick on and no highlighter on, so I look a little funky right now. Sorry if you can hear a little bit of noise. Pepper's like rustling around in some bags, but anyways. So this is what the card looks like. Nathan and Jeffrey look amazing. I'm so excited to see what is in store. Well, I've already seen it, but I haven't tried it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do highlighter first. So this is the Skin Frost in the shade Nefri. It is a combination of Nathan and Jeffrey, and I think that is just so cute. Also, the packaging on this is amazing. It's baby pink, which is so cool, and even the compact itself is baby pink. His normal ones are like hot pink. Um, I also have the Mani MUA one, which is a matte black, and then I have the Summer Chrome Collection, which is a chrome like silvery chrome pinky chrome I think it's pink chrome finish so this is what Nefri looks like I'm gonna be doing close-up clips to overlay over my voice because this camera doesn't autofocus or I don't know how to do it at least yet um, like like my old camera did so I'm going to be overlaying clips of close-ups of these products so you can get a better look but anyways, um, let's just get right into it. It's a nice pinky, pinky purpley shade. So I'm just gonna take this Real Techniques brush in the shade three in the shade 300. It's like a 300 Real Techniques brush. Um, it's from their like Bold Metals collection or something. So I'm just going to do a little swipe and then let's see. Wow. That is blinding. 
Oh my gosh. Well, I'm, I'm not surprised, honestly. This color is like purple. Like, this looks purple on my skin. Um... Let's do a little bit of nose highlight and then Cupid's bow. And then a little bit above or a lot. And then I'm actually just gonna go in with my finger very lightly and kind of highlight the brow bone area a little bit. Okay, so this is by no means a natural highlight. Um, it is very pretty. Um, it's very cool toned, so I do have a warmer toned blush on my cheeks, so it doesn't look the best with that, but that's my fault for not thinking ahead of time, but it is absolutely blinding, absolutely stunning. Um, it's not the most neutral highlight I've ever worn before, but that's not expected with Jeffree Star necessarily, so it is very blinding, very... I would call this unique. I have the, even the, what is that called? The Anastasia Moonchild um, Glow Kit, and I also have the Kat Von D Alchemist Highlighting Palette, and those have some purpley kind of tinted um, highlighters, but this is like different than those, and I really like it. This is actually a lot more wearable than some of those purpley ones in the, that palette, in those palettes, but I really do enjoy this color. I'm so excited. So let's get started with the, this by the way, it retails for $29. And then the uh, lip velour lip scrubs, I think they're like $12. So the first one here is in the shade Peach Popsicle. And this one, um, the packaging again is so cute. I love the pink, the baby pink. This is the one that Jeffrey came up with. He loves sweet things and like candy. So this is like, I feel like this is perfect for him. <sighs> smells amazing. I smelled these in my, um, my I, I unboxed this actually in my first vlog. If you aren't subscribed to my vlog channel, which I know you're not because I only have two subscribers and one of them is myself. <laughs> so if you're not subscribed, go check it out if you want to see more of my day-to-day -day life. I only have one vlog up right now, but I'm working on a bunch more. So I'm so excited to make this new step. Um, so yeah, I would love it if you would check that out. Check out my first vlog. You get to meet my boyfriend, my mom, and me, which you already know me, but anyways, I'll have my vlog channel and that video linked in the description box below. I'll also have Jeffree Star's um, channel linked and all of these products, so you can find out where you can get them if you want to buy them. Anyways, back to the Peach Popsicle Lip Scrub. It smells amazing. I have not, like, touched in this yet, but oh man. <sighs> I have his three from his summer collection, and I love them all so much. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so the Peach Popsicle Lip Scrub is a major win in my opinion. I love all of his lip scrubs. Peach, peach rings are one of my favorite candies ever and that's exactly what this smells like. So if you love peach rings and you're looking for a new lip scrub, I highly, highly recommend this one. And then next we've got um, Pancakes and Syrup, which is the one that Nathan picked out, designed, whatever, however you want to say that. Um, and this one is a nice maple-y brown color. And it literally smells exactly like maple syrup. Like, I can't, like, this, uh, <laughs> there couldn't be a more realistic maple syrup smelling thing. Like, this smells more like maple syrup than maple syrup smells like maple syrup. Ah, it, uh, it blows my mind away. Oh, it smells so good. I'm actually going to dig into this one a little bit so I can taste this one as well. Ah! Mm-mm-mm. They're nice and gritty, which I really like, and they're edible. So, when you're done, you can just lick it off. Mm. So delicious. It kind of tastes like, um those coca-cola gummies a little bit along with maple syrup so 
I am going to touch up my Cupid's Bow highlighter now because I kind of wiped it away. Here we go. Wow. I went way overboard. But speaking of the highlighter, sorry if I just blinded you, but I did want to do a quick finger swatch for you guys. Um, I will do one closer up as well. But this is what it looks like. This is absolutely stunning. Like, absolutely beautiful. I, I, I am loving this highlight more and more. Um, I was a little bit, like, not shocked at first, but just a little bit surprised at first. But it's really growing on me. And I'm a big fan. Can't wait. Can't wait to wear it more. And then this is the finale this is like the big mama this is the thing i was the well i can't say i was the most excited about this but as far as packaging goes i was the most excited about this this is the family collection house little lip bundle it's called oh it's not called anything it's just called i just said it's not called <laughs> this is the lip bundle and it has the entire Star Family lip collection in it. I just wanted to say sorry if this video is also a little choppy. I keep having to tend to pepper, so things are just going nuts. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I'm wearing my Jeffree Star approved t-shirt. I love it so much. I'm a big fan of Jeffree Star, and I invest a lot of money into his makeup because I think... I've had amazing experiences with it and it is really good quality makeup. Um, I love his liquid lipsticks. I think that is the best liquid lipstick formula I have ever tried. And I'm not just saying that to like kiss up to him because he literally has no idea who I am. Um, and I buy all of this with my own money. Wow. Okay, sorry about that. The garbage truck was going by making a ton of noise. I don't think this video could get more sporadic slash interrupted. Anyways, let's get on to the lip house dreamland. Um, this says that, um, it says here are six brand new shades that Nathan and I created to represent our family. Hope you all love this little piece of our hearts. So there are six liquid lipsticks. Um, one for each members of the family and they have uh, Jeffrey Nathan and then four dogs so you open it up and then the inside has a picture of Jeffrey and Nathan and their four dogs diamond daddy delicious and diva <laughs> that's what I was forgetting so so cute I don't think this packaging could have gotten any cuter honestly and then we've got the six velour liquid lipstick shades right here obviously some of these colors are more wearable than others so you know you can obviously also buy these individually they are $18 each that's how much they retail for that's how much all of his liquid lipsticks cost and I think this was like $75 I want to say for all six um, like this bundle so I, I'm a collector of Jeffree Star makeup, so that's why I wanted the entire collection, even the ones that aren't as wearable. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to go grab some makeup wipes really quick, as well as my beauty blender, so I can wipe off in between swatches and then kind of blend out my foundation after it's been wiped off. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to be starting in the top left with Nathan. Then going to Wifey, Diva, Diamond Delicious, and Baby Daddy. So let's see right here. And I do believe you are supposed to shake these. Um, I think it says that somewhere on the website maybe. I don't know. I always shake them just in case. Again, the packaging on these is beautiful. I love the baby pink on top. It makes me so happy. I don't know why it makes me so happy, but it just it does. So the doe foot applicator, um, there's like a lot of product on here, but the doe foot applicator on Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks is amazing. I love them so much. They're so easy to use. So let's just get right into it. Wow. Okay, so that was not my best liquid lipstick application of all time, but this color is so pretty. I love it. It is quite warm toned actually so it looks a little bit funky with my um purple shirt <laughs> but I really do like this shade I was able to cover both lips with one I just pulled it out that first time I actually even wiped off a little bit of excess and then I was able to cover both of my lips 
full coverage, one layer, amazing. So that is the shade, uh, what is this? Nathan. I was about to say Nefri. This is the shade Nathan. Alright, next we have the shade Wifey, which is named after Jeffrey. <laughs> And this is a nice, it looks very red. Oh. And also, this way, if you have a similar complexion or skin tone to me, you can see what these colors would kind of like look like on your skin coloring, which might be helpful. Oh my gosh. This one, I should have used a lip liner, which most of the time I don't need a lip liner with Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks, but this is such a dark shade and I'm not the best at applying liquid lipstick, so my top lip is a little bit funky, um, but if I had used a lip liner, you know, that would have been no problem. This is totally user error. I did have to dip in one time for just a little bit of extra product. Um, but this is completely full coverage. I love this shade. Normally I don't like myself in red lips, but this I act actually like love. Like I could wear this every single day. This is so pretty. I am obsessed. This one is my favorite shade so far. I know we've only done two, but this one is my favorite. So this is the shade Wifey. So, Wifey did stain my lips a little bit red, um, but it's not a big deal. I don't get why that upsets people so much, but I did just want to put that out there that it did stain my lips a tiny bit, but it was pretty hard to get off, so I was rubbing my lips um, with this these cheesy, <laughs> these are Wet n Wild um, Under the Sheets makeup remover wipes. I got these at the dollar store, so these are not the best makeup remover wipes, but... Um, it, so it probably has to do with that, there being a little bit of extra red, um, because it couldn't get it all off, but... But, um, that shade, I still love it so much, I just did want to put, wanted to put that out there in case that mattered to you. Um, but anyways, moving on, we have the shade Diva. This is a hot pink with a slight gold shimmer in it. I'm so excited to try this one on. So this is the shade Diva. This one, formula-wise, this one is a little bit different. This one is a lot thinner than Wifey was. Wifey was nice and thick and not too thick, but like you know, a thick and consistent consistency, <laughs> if that makes sense. This one was a lot thinner and more like watery-ish. Um, you can see this baby little flecks of gold glitter, which is super... Okay, guys, so I am having major, major technical difficulties, so... I don't even want to try to go into it because it's quite frustrating. I am still learning this new camera and just everything is going wrong, but it's fine. I'm gonna keep going. So as I was saying, I was cut off for some reason. I don't know why my camera shut off, um, but I was cut off because, not because, but while I was talking about the liquid lip shade in Diva. So this shade is the hot pink that has the baby baby fine gold glitters in it and this shade is absolutely stunning um, I've been wearing the shade for like an hour now because I reapplied it after I had finished filming the entire video so um, I'm back to this lip color and I'm gonna be continuously checking to make sure I'm still filming so anyways I love this formula of this specific one. It's amazing, and I think it actually looks so pretty. I think it looks nice on my skin tone with my hair color and everything. This is one of my favorites out of the entire collection, which surprises me because I thought it was going to be a little bit too loud for me, but I actually do really enjoy it. So this is the shade Diva. Alright, so the next shade we have is Diamond. This one is insane. This color looks crazy on me. It is a super, like, periwinkle-ish, purplish color, and it's an, it's an interesting one. Again, the formula on this one is different than any of the previous ones that I've tried on so far in this video. It actually reminds me of the formula of Queen Bee, which is his... Uh, yellow one from a summer collection. I think it was 2016 But it's just a very white based color and I feel like this looks like 
the way Queen Bee looked on my lips and then also um, the shade Drug Lord which is like the solid white one that he has. So this shade is a lot harder to work with. Um, I'm not sure if you can really tell on camera but it is quite patchy and streaky. Uh, so I'm going in with a second coat. I feel like when I accidentally go over um, a part that I've already touched up with product, it like wipes away the product that was there already. So even with two coats, I feel like this color is, <laughs> I don't know, this one's kind of a fail for me. It's streaky and patchy and cracky and the more it dries down, the worse it looks. It, this would be a lot better if it was a glossy shade in my opinion, but First of all, it's not a very wearable color, and the only reason that I bought it is because I wanted the whole collection, and this came in it, and I am a collector of Jeffree Star makeup, so I bought it for that reason. I, I If I were to buy these all individually, I would skip this one, in my opinion, just because it's, it's just not my favorite. I mean, even for a crazy color, I just feel like the formula is not the best. It looks so bad like up close and it might be because my lips are dry because I've been trying liquid lipsticks on all day and wiping them off so that could be a part of it but the other ones don't look like this on my lips so this one is a fail for me unfortunately I'm sorry diamond I still love you <laughs> but the color is pretty the actual like color in the tube is pretty and I think with this packaging it is absolutely stunning but on my lips it's thumbs down. Okay, so the next shade is Delicious. This is a purpley kind of shade. When I first saw it, I thought it was like a brown for some reason, like like a dark chocolate milk kind of color, but when I see it in the light and I see it on my lips, I realize that it is a purple shade. Um, this is one of, I did already finish trying these on when I was filming, but I wasn't actually filming, so... Um, this is no longer an official first impression because I did try these on and already give my thoughts, but I'm just gonna basically say exactly what I said the first time, so, yeah. Okay, so I totally overlined my lips when applying this. It looks absolutely crazy, but this is the shade Delicious. It is a nice, deep, deep, like, purpley, dusty kind of shade. It's like in the mauve kind of spectrum. Um, it's not like a purple like my shirt obviously, but it does have a purple hue to it. Um, this is a shade that I would not normally wear, but I actually do really like it. I think it is a nice fall slash wintery kind of shade, so I'm glad that this came out in this collection. And I just think it's really, really nice. Again, the formula on this one is spot on. I love it so much. It reminds me of the formula of Wifey, so definitely a good one if you're looking for a shade like this. So this is delicious. And then the last shade that we have is Baby Daddy. This is a kind of like a yellowy based cool toned nude, I feel like. Um, this one kind of reminds me of Hunty. Um, from his summer chrome collection in a way not exactly but for some reason I'm getting hunty vibes from this one so let's try this one on all right so this is the shade baby daddy this is a much more of a yellower undertoned nude I feel like it kind of clashes with my hair a little bit maybe it doesn't maybe I'm just not used to it but um, I don't know. I, I need to wear this a little bit more to really see if I'm like actually going to wear this shade a lot, but um, those were all of the lip swatches of the Jeffree Star Star Family Collection. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I Like I said, I love everything in this collection. My only miss would be Diamond. This one was not my favorite. Um, the formula wise and color wise, it just wasn't a hit for me, but everything else was amazing. Diva, Wifey, and Nathan are my top three liquid lipsticks from this collection. They are amazing, especially Wifey and Diva. I think Wifey's my favorite, but these are two, they're tied, basically. So, the Skin Frost was amazing. The Velour Liquid Lipsticks are delicious. Um, wow, one just dropped. That was scary. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, please leave me any video requests you have in the comments below. Check out my vlog channel. Um, just wanted to remind you one more time. And yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.